Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie is about an ex-soldier with lethal fighting skills, who has to save his niece at a soccer game, while preventing mass destruction. It begins with a revolution in Sokova, a Russian state. Dmitry and Arkady, two brothers, spearheaded this revolution. They instigated a riot in the state of Sokovia in order for the state to gain independence from Russia. When Russia declared war, Dmitry was reportedly killed. At the same time, Arkady was captured by the Russian government, effectively ending the revolution in Sokova. Arkady discovers that Dmitry is still alive 17 years later. Dmitry, it turns out, had pretended to die, had surgery on his face, and then vanished. Arkady travels all the way to London in search of his brother. Some of Arkady's men are pursuing an informant, who knows where Dmitri is on a deserted street. The informant continues to flee. Dmitri does not want his whereabouts to be revealed. Suppose he is discovered and forced to join his brother in returning to Sokovia, in that case, a new revolution may erupt, which can be lethal. Unfortunately, Arkady's men apprehend the informant and take him to a torture facility. However, the informant remains silent, and does not reveal his location to Dmitri. A special American soldier named Michael Knox arrives at the London airport. He moved to London to meet the family of a late friend who had fought in Afghanistan. Danny is the daughter of his late friend. She is a rebellious girl who often does bad things, so she is frequently punished by her mother. Danny, who is sneaking out the window as she arrives at her best friend's house, is apprehended by Knox, who has just arrived. Danny invites Knox into the house after they immediately embrace. Knox's arrival turns out to be an invitation to a football game at West Ham Stadium. When they arrive at the stadium, Danny tells him about her grief over her father's death. Her father was more concerned with state affairs than with his family, which disappointed her. Soon after, Danny's boyfriend texts her, asking her to meet him in the stadium's northwest corner. Danny then requests that Knox buy her some snacks because she is hungry. Meanwhile, Arcady's men enter the stadium by disguising themselves as match officials. Arcady's men break into a room, and hack all CCTV camera systems. They assassinate a guard and break into the stadium control room. Arcady's men kill some staff in the room to warn the other staff to obey their orders. Police Chief Thompson, who is in charge of the match, is also seen in the control room. Arcady menaces Thompson with a gun, and threatens to kill his family if he refuses his orders. Whether he likes it or not, Thompson eventually obeys the orders. The first thing Arcady does is close all of the stadium's entrances and exits. All stadium doors are automatically closed by a computer system, preventing spectators who are already inside the stadium from leaving. Furthermore, all of the stadium's cell phone signal transmitters are damaged. Danny is nowhere to be found when Knox returns to his seat. He then attempts to call Danny, but the cell phone signal abruptly dies. On the other hand, Knox is unaware of any sabotage inside the stadium. He approaches a member of the stadium staff named Faisal, standing guard in the stands near the audience seats and beginning to panic. He directs Faisal to search for CCTV footage of Danny. Faisal then contacts the control room to locate the missing person, but the security officers do not respond. Knox forces Faisal to take him to the control room on the top side of the stadium. Faisal reluctantly agrees. They are about to enter the elevator when Arcady's men, disguised as guards, stop them. Since Knox insists on going to the control room, Arcady's henchman Andre lets them into the elevator. Andre's expression changes as he enters the elevator. He makes a sudden move to attack the two of them. There is quite a fight in the elevator until Knox starts choking Andre. Knox directs Faisal to retrieve a gun from the elevator floor and fire at Andre's head. Finally, Andre is murdered, and his body is dragged into the toilet. They discover explosives in the bag. They are both aware that the stadium is in danger of being bombed during a football match. Knox is able to contact the police chief outside the stadium using the walkie-talkie that Faisal is holding. He informs him of an emergency situation in which the stadium could be sabotaged. The police commander does not immediately believe Knox's complaint. Thompson is contacted by the police commander. Unfortunately, Thompson, who is being held hostage by Arcady at the time, lies by responding that everything is safe inside the stadium. Arcady's men are looking for Dimitri, who is allegedly in the row of spectators watching the game in another corner of the stadium. While the rest of Arcady's men are busy installing bombs in the stadium's corners, Dimitri's men continue to screen the audience's faces through the computer screens he had hacked. Soon after, Arcady, who is in the control room at the time, receives a complaint from one of his female subordinates, Tatiana, who informs him of Andre's disappearance. Finally, two of Arcady's men go looking for Andre and discover his body in the toilet. 
Knowing that one of his men is dead, Arkady dispatches two of his other men, Vlad and Anton, to find the person responsible for Andre's death. Knox is well aware that Arkady's men will soon pursue him, so he tells Faisal to sprint and look for Danny in the row of audience seats. Faisal escapes through the stadium kitchen's tiny elevator ventilation gap. Meanwhile, Knox remains in the kitchen, confronted by Vlad and Anton. They engage in a fierce battle. Knox could kill Anton not long after, but Vlad, who is strong, makes it difficult for him. The fight continues, and Knox gets engrossed in action. Fortunately, because of his battlefield experience, he has a good strategy for defeating opponents, especially when time is of the essence. Finally, he is able to depose Vlad in a pitiful manner, immersing him in boiling water. Tatiana, Vlad's girlfriend, comes into the kitchen to inspect the situation. She is furious when she discovers that her boyfriend has died with a charred face. Meanwhile, Knox makes his way out of the kitchen with Anton's body. He throws Anton's body out of the stadium, alerting the police stationed outside of the stadium to the dangerous situation inside. When the police spot a body thrown from the stadium's roof, they realize the situation is serious. Arkady and his men go to the TV broadcast room, where several TV crews are showing the ongoing match. They abruptly fire several TV crews, and the shooting is broadcast live on the local television station. Arkady asks one of the reporters to read his message over a TV broadcast, which includes a threat to blow up the stadium if police try to enter. The message is addressed to the British government, and is to be relayed to the Russian government, in order to locate Dmitry before the match ends. Arkady kills two reporters after they read the message. The shooting is captured on a TV station, which causes panic among London residents and Danny's mother, who is watching the match on TV. Through CCTV footage, one of Arkady's men is able to determine who is responsible for the attack on their men. He is aware of Knox's true identity, and CCTV footage reveals that Knox had arrived at the stadium with a girl named Danny. Since the computer is linked to the police database, Danny's identity is displayed on the screen. Danny is seen walking near the field, and Knox is attempting to pursue her. Knox's action of falling and shouting is undoubtedly thwarted by the police officers on duty in the field. Fortunately, Faisal is able to seize Danny, and whisks her away to meet Knox in the stadium's back room. After Knox locates them, the three of them attempt to locate the bombs hidden in various locations. Knox summons the police chief outside, and informs him that the bomb is difficult to defuse, unless Arkady presses the defuse button. The only way he could take Arkady's bomb disposal button is to tell him where Dimitri is in the row of spectators. Dimitri is watching the game in the east end of the stands, according to the police chief. Knox plans to approach Dimitri in the audience. He tells Faisal to hide with Danny in another corner of the stadium, and they part ways. Arkady's men attempt to block Knox's path to the stands. He is able to overthrow Arkady's men by riding a police motorcycle. He makes it to the east stand and meets with Dimitri. While speaking with Dimitri, Arkady notices it on CCTV and learns that his brother has been found. Meanwhile, Tatiana discovers where Danny and Faisal are hiding. She then paralyzes Faisal and kidnaps Danny. On the other side of the stadium, Knox is seen bringing Dimitri to the stadium's roof, despite the fact that his struggle is not easy, because Arkady's men keep approaching and attacking him. Knox proposes a hostage swap between Danny and Dimitri above the stadium. But instead of returning to Sokovia with his brother and restarting the revolution, Dimitri asks Knox to kill him. Dimitri himself decides that continuing his revolutionary movement would only make his people unhappy. Long story short, the hostage exchange continues above the stadium, where the police helicopter is also present. Danny requests the exchange after all of the spectators have left the stadium. Even if the exchange had occurred, she knew the bomb would still detonate. Knox asks Danny to walk and immediately exchanges words. When Danny walks to the center, it turns out that she sees not Dimitri but Knox, disguised in Dimitri's clothes, approaching her. Danny then runs up to Dimitri, and they both bolt from the stands above the stadium. The cops assist by shooting Arkady's men from the helicopter. When Knox immobilizes Arkady and retrieves his bomb disposal button, a fierce battle ensues once more. Tatiana attacks Knox until he has to hang on to save his bomb disposal button. When he lands in the other stands, Tatiana appears behind him and starts attacking him with a knife. They fight until they are knocked out of the stands. Tatiana's body gets stuck in the iron when she falls. Before passing away, she states that the bomb disposal did not work, because the bomb continued to detonate when the game reached the 90th minute. According to the control room, Dimitri and Danny have been apprehended by one of Arkady's men. Dimitri explains why he faked his death and vanished there, he wanted to save Arkady, who was about to be executed. He takes a gun lying on the table, and fires himself to save his brother and end the war. 
Arkady is so shocked and irritated by this unexpected incident, that he fires his gun at the men who had brought Dmitri to him. Knox approaches Faisal in one corner of the field and asks him to inform the audience to leave their seats. However, when Faisal announces that he is carrying a bomb, the audience quickly disperses. Later, Knox is on the field with Danny, who is in the control room, watching Arkady's broadcast. He makes every effort to run towards the control room. Unfortunately, the match is approaching the 90th minute when the bomb explodes in the control room, a loud explosion is heard. Knox feels guilty for not being able to care for Danny. However, he believes that the footage shown on the stadium screen just before the explosion was not captured in the control room. He dashes into the middle of the field, which appears chaotic due to the number of people running. He noticed Arkady pointing a gun at Danny's neck. Danny is able to escape by stomping her head against Arkady, Knox advising her. Knox then shoots Arkady, killing him. Many people still choose to do good. Dimitri is a character who chose exile in another country to avoid bloodshed. Faisal assisted Danny and Knox despite not knowing either of them. The main character who has nothing to do with Russia's revolution, Knox was able to help the people of Sokova not live in misery, because the revolutionary movement was successfully quelled. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.